Consumer electronics manufacturers are increasingly concerned about lowering their bill of materials costs. By using virtual base, they can remove things like a center channel, a subwoofer, and other costs from their box, which adds margin to the bottom line and makes virtual base a really good adder to their box. So when I went to a concert and helped Grateful Dead set up their stage, the music was big, vibrant. It was like weather. It almost knocked you off the edge. Unfortunately, that music was transmitted over the internet or over a CD and played back, sounded washed out. Life was gone and I said to myself, I need to get that life and that bigness back. I need to get the depth and warmth back. And how did we do that? We created a product called Virtual Bass. And virtual Bass is a way of getting the big dynamic impact of bass back. One of the problems with digital is that in, in an effort to compress digital files and then deliver them through a medium like the internet, sound quality has suffered. And consumers have now over time really started to wake up to the, to the fact that, um, that MP3s just aren't the best sound quality and that a lot of the mainstream electronics don't provide the best sound quality. And, and music is just so important now and part of, of, of most consumers' lives. One of the things that I think uh, Virtual Bass really brings to the table is the opportunity for OEMs to now differentiate their products within, on top of this technology in order to provide these premium sound experiences for their consumers. And I think OEMs will now really start to enjoy cost benefits to doing so, and then the consumers will now appreciate differentiated products. Mm -hmm.